A 41-year-old man died when his house caught on fire overnight in Monroeville. Two other people inside that house did, did make it out. Brenda Waters talked with firefighters about what happened. When firefighters arrived, they say smoke and flames were shooting out of that second floor bedroom window. All the neighbors were out here last evening, like 1, 2 o'clock. It's very tragic. When Monroeville firefighters arrived in the 800 block of Sweet Leaf Drive in Garden City and made their way inside the house, they found 41 year old Chad DiMatteo in a second floor bedroom. He was dead. They were good people, and I think Chad, strong person, Betty tried to put that fire out and just, you know, didn't realize. But, but his wife and child are, did, did get out of the house. There are three residents that appear to be home at the time. Two of the three did make it out okay. Linda Worm says the DiMatteos had been neighbors for about 10 years, and Chad will be missed. He had been an athlete. Yes, he was. Right, right. Yeah. As far Is he as... from the area? Yes, yes. In the city. Okay. And so probably went to high school in mm -hmm, Went to high school in Monroeville, right. He played college football. Investigators say the fire began in that second floor bedroom of the house where it was contained. But what caused the blaze has not been determined. Brenda Waters, KDKA TV News.